All right. So a Labyrinth of Stars is a, let's call it a death metal band uh, that formed between, um, uh, let's see, Christian Kolf of Falborg and uh, Marcus, what's his name from, Marcus Siegenhort of Landlos. And uh, they, they've got a vocalist and a lyricist who handles that part of the band as well. And um, it's interesting the way they describe it. They describe it as if it's not that serious of a group or it was more of an experiment. But they, they put quite a lot into this record. And I think determining how serious an artist is doesn't have to be that important. But they definitely talked about it like it was sort of like a thing that just kind of came together. And maybe out of boredom, maybe out of just listening to some Morbid Angel in the studio... And they decided to just make a atmospheric science fiction themed death metal record that sounds a lot like late 90s and early 2000s Morbid Angel to start. Um, so I don't know. I think a lot of people specifically don't like Heretic. And I'm not saying this record sounds like Heretic. The sort of uh, polyrhythmic qualities of that record are, are not really here. Uh, but the sort of psychedelic extension of what uh, Formula's Fatal to the Flesh was doing is kind of in what Labyrinth of Stars do on Spectrum Xenomorph. Um, otherwise, the vocalist uses a certain effect on uh, two or three of these songs that sounds quite a bit like um, Rainer Cross, the vocalist of Mithras, and the effects that he would use. Um, it, this is sort of in that spirit of hearing uh, Formulas Fatal to the Flesh and fleshing it out, essentially. Uh, so I have mentioned Lantern, their most recent record. You should really check that out just in general. Uh, but I think that, that it gives you a, a framework of what to expect when the death metal is going. Now, this is a 30-minute record, 33, I think, and... 13 of that is a uh, long dark ambient track. And it's pretty much the, the full second side. So up front, I wouldn't devalue the uh, space ambient music. I, I love space ambient music. I listen to it quite often. Uh, but um, for the, the average death metal fan, it, it really won't be enough of a record. It'll be more of like an, an idea of where they're going to go with it in the future. It's just a really professional sketch of uh, what people are doing nowadays with this type of, this type of sound. Uh, you know, it's not going to replace, um, you know, I, I, like anything on Dark Descent that sounds like this, uh, if you know what I mean. Um, so that puts us in a place where there's a lot to appreciate here. There's a lot that it does. This album does really well. I think there's a lot of cool riffs. I think that it, it really lacks any sort of uh, lead guitar voice that's interesting. They use a lot of, they, there, there is a lot of sort of accessible influences you definitely feel from sort of the, uh, uh, what, I, what I guess uh, a member of Valborg would naturally bring to an album like this. I think this is more of the fellow from Lantlos's idea to start, and they sort of expanded it together. And uh, uh, the, the lyrics and the vocals are quite good. I think that kind of helps sell the idea a little bit more, like, hey, we're on to something, so let's make this happen, you know. Um, but there's a couple of songs that are just kind of groovy, just kind of okay. They sort of get there. And, uh, that's more or less what kind of sells me on the experience. I think, um, when you're taking in the whole thing, the, like the record, the, the artwork and the idea and the story, you, it's easy to get swept up in that and not start like counting the riffs and really, uh, finding that it is just kind of a, um, a light idea you know and so the way i've treated it with the language here is probably a little bit more hands-off than i normally would because i'm not really sure how to treat this album and how seriously to take it as a fan of death metal you know and of course i like space ambient but i don't think that's really what this is about i think that's just quite a lot of padding to um sort of sell two sides of the experience i think eventually the sort of 12 minute break after all of those riffs and all that is 
warranted. It's it's a cool thing. It loops pretty well, and the sound of the record is is pretty good. I think that um, I'm not sure if the drums are programmed. Probably. Um, so, gosh, what is there to say about the record otherwise? That's what kind of where I was stuck with this. Um, so, okay, where what I see here is basically. Is this like an impressionist modern take on a style that, that just uh, still resonates as something that's cool? Um, is it a vague impersonation that just kind of was worth printing? Or is it uh, a purposeful reduction down to basal forms that is artistic and interesting? Uh, uh, I don't know if any of those are especially true. They're, they're all kind of true. Uh, and it just depends on your perspective. Um, so I personally enjoyed it and even the, the space ambient part made sense through more listens. Uh, and I, you know, it really wasn't taxing or demanding or, or anything like that. Um, but I'm not sure who this record is for. It could be for someone who's interested in, uh, modern sludge sounds that also pair well with death metal. Uh, you know, there's gateways to annihilation certainly had the sort of down tune sludgy late 90s sound to it so there's some precedence there but i don't know um that the uh, rhythms will be enough to entertain most people beyond their initial excitement so that's where i kind of stand with it i'm just kind of like then this is a cool thing and i hope they do more with it but i don't know if i can you know i can recommend it per my own taste and like anything that sounds remotely like morbid angel you know so that's as far as i got with that um, but yeah, definitely worth, don't give it just a preview, give it a full listen and give it your full attention and let that dark, uh, the, the space ambient piece sink in to see if that's really worth the full album experience to you. Um, so I think the recommendation has seeped down lower since I wrote this review. It's been a couple of days. I was like, well, maybe, eh. well, I don't know how, again, I don't know how serious they're, you know, if they'll pursue it anymore. So that kind of has a bearing on my continued interest and on the shelf life of the record as you can see it's kind of a cool thing so if it's just a cool thing i'd recommend checking it out yeah that's it